use my cage, the middle space, and the big space. Make sure you have personal space. Watch me first. Here's the first one. The first two will go, today let's go five reps of each. We'll try to get through all three progressions. First thing, when you're holding the pole, keep your skeleton lined up. Every drill you do, you see how my hands are like even with my armpits and my elbows are right across from my wrists. I'm not down, up, <coughs> or misaligned. See what I'm saying? My skeleton's lined up, see what I mean? Every time you pull the pole back, you should feel those three elements of really good backside arm slot, pec stretch, scap load, right around 90 degrees there. See what I'm saying? All right, first two. The first one, both of them, our toes will be forward the first time. You can do these two drills with one step or three steps. The first drill, you are going to have your throwing foot forward when you land and turn. The second one will be normal with your glove foot forward when you land and turn. So what I mean by one step or three steps is this, watch. I'm left-handed, remember. So I'm throwing off my left foot in this first one. You can do it in one step. Or you can do it with one, two, three steps if you need a little bit more rhythm with it. You see what I'm saying? Elements that we're feeling here. I just talked about one. Every time you pull the pole back, feel that good arm slot back there with those three elements of good backside arm action. Thing number two, when we land, we shouldn't be down when we're still moving up here. We want to sync up foot strike with arm slot. And then when you go to turn, you will be able to isolate your backside and feel the rotation work up the chain from your foot to your hand. As I did the first one, notice how I'm not turning like a helicopter and I'm not landing and rotating top down. I'm staying in my hips when I land. I'm staying in my pelvis, in my abs, in my torso and rolling with some direction there. You see how I got all the way out to extension at the end on one leg? All right, five there. The next five is the same thing. You're just adding in front side blocking with your normal leg. You're still turning the same way through your backside, but now you gotta feel your front side stabilize it instantaneously when you land. See what I'm saying? Five throwing foot forward, five glove foot forward. I'll watch what you're doing. If